Grazie per essere qui oggi. Possiamo cominciare. After months of speculation, the deal is finally done and we're just minutes away from seeing his debut. Can he live up to the hype? Welcome, it promises to be a fascinating night here in the Eternal City. We're at the Stadio Olimpico. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And there are few better days on the football calendar than opening day in Serie A. It is Roma and they take on Genoa. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre-season. All aimed for this game. First game of the season. All that preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it. Get the three points. Move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. Here's the team for Roma. 
It's the impressive Paul Lopez between the posts. Alessandro Florenzi starts with Alexander Kolarov in the fullback positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Well, this might pay dividends. He had just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. The Genoa starting 11. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back league? Not at all. Under Bruce Rock, it's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box with the two up front. Keeper did it. There it is! And... Just the ideal start. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, or all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. News of a goal in the Atalanta game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Atalanta. It's been scored by Alejandro Gomez. I'm not sure he knew too much about it. But a hard cross came in from the left and it came off his head into the back of the net. 14 minutes played. Might be able to set up the chance. Playing with purpose and control. Absolutely spot on and they keep the ball. Sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alan. To confirm Atalanta have scored in that match. And their lead stands up 1-0 presently. Teammate in support. A case of forming the opposition by whatever means. Played into the centre of the box. Well, yeah, they sucked the opposition onto him, then hit them with speed. All was good until the final effort. Lorenzi on the ball. Good ball to switch the play. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And he's broken free. Oh, what 
that's an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he squandered it. Running towards goal. Well, the post getting in the way there. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Well, they're still in it. Just back as in, it's all over. Lorenzi. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball. But again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Pellegrini. Can they square the game? And he's got a score to level us again. And here's the replay. How well has he done there? The defenders close in on him. They think they've got him. No chance. The ball's in the back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Stephen won a piece in this match. And that puts them in position. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Mancini. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. And can he deliver accurately? Good position on the pitch to be pressing and winning the ball. Javi Garcia. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Tete. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Foiling them effectively. He continues to make hay. Kleibert. The electronic board has been held aloft two additional minutes here well, it has been a developing story in recent days and now we can 100% confirm it, Sergei Milinkovic Savic has completed his move to Real Madrid League 
Well, Derek, a reported figure of £70 million, or around that anyway. Are you getting value for money with that? I would say so. He's a top player, he is. Got all the qualities you want in a £70 million player. Pellegrini. Genghis Under. Good technique display. Great opportunity. Well, body in the way. And the whistle is sounded for... created enough too slow up front midfield very average the coach he's not happy at all he wants more from this team now can they make something happen and what a magical save it was he's driven in the corner and a no nonsense clearance tremendous block Basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort, used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. Well, excitement from Serie A should be guaranteed. Our next live game on EA TV, it's Roma facing Lazio. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. Should be a really entertaining match. Can they take the lead? Trembley, and he takes it on. Going for the bar there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. There's been a change to the scoreline, I'm hearing, in the Atalanta match. Alan McEnany with the details. It's a third goal for Atalanta. It's been scored by Luis Muriel. A lovely swerving effort from the edge of the area that tickled the post as it went in. 56 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks, Alan. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Back from the byline. Payach on the ball. High pressing at its best. And it should be a thrilling match in Serie A, the one we've got coming up for you on EA TV. It's Genoa versus Fiorentina. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. A chance maybe from the wide position. Trying to chisel it. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. It's with Kolarov. No spillings from the goalkeeper. Routine. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Schoenen. And Falke, Antonio Sanabria, given away. Well, the home fans are doing their best to try and urge the players on to get this winner. Will it come? Leraga. And Falke.
I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. And deep into the penalty area. Given away. And the goal has been scored in the Sassuolo match. Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for the visitors. 78 minutes. 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. A bit of running room now on the wing. It might be on for them. Radovanovic. So close to keeping himself onside, but offside is the verdict. Well, and that's his job, the linesman. Give those tight offside decisions and get them right. Extremely sloppy in possession. Maneuvering his way forward. Radovanovic. An important interception. A bit sloppy in possession. He has plenty of support. So a throw in here. Inside the final five minutes now. There are two. Kolarov. off. Destro on the ball. And Falke. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. Absolutely nothing wrong with the idea, but no end product. A strong block on the ball from the keeper. It's with Florenzi. On the ball, Zaniolo. And the referee says that is... La ringrazio per aver accettato di venire ai nostri microfoni. Grazie ancora per...
Big welcome to you all to the Stadio Olimpico. Martin Tyler here to describe the action along with Alan Smith. 
Our action is from Serie A. It's coming right up. It's Roma against Sassuolo. I love visiting this ground. Really been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. A bit of pressure on the player. That's why it's gone out. Roma's line up for you. Paolo Lopez in goal. Alessandro Florenzi starts with Alexander Kolarov as the fullbacks. Eddie Dzeko is the main striker today. Check now on the team players for Sassuolo today. Vlad Kirikesh plays with Marlon Santos in defence. Elias Skiri starts with Pedro Obian in midfield. And the one forward today is Gregoire de Frey. Is this the modern-day Alan Smith, Edin Dzeko? <laughs> Certain comparisons. He's certainly a tall target man with uh, goals to his name. He's the number one target to keep quiet today, I think. Jeremy Tolian. And it will be their throw. Gregoire de Frel. Won the ball capably with that tackle. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Lorenzo Pellegrini. Florenzi. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. And here is Jekyll. Jekyll! Saved. Not decisively. We've got a corner now. And here comes the corner. Clivert. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. And here is Jekyll. That would have been a chance but for the tackle. Well, the ref's getting slaughtered by those fans who were convinced it should have been a pen. Gregoire de Frel. Chance to get the ball in the box. They're coming in at the near post for the cross. Stolen the ball. Must be a goal. The pressure has told. And they've caved in, really. Well, we all knew what was coming. Certainly the opposition did, but they could do nothing to stop it happening out there. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Spotted that well and intercepted. Over the top of the defenders, and he could be in here. He's had a go here! And that is the post he's hit, and it's a goal kick. Federico Fazio. Stopping the pass, getting through with good piece of anticipation. And they've spread it out wide here. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Well, then they come, they're piling into the middle. Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. He's put in the corner. Important touch from the defender there. Ilyas Skiri. Now you can cross it. It's poor work, really. He fancies his chances of getting past these players. Return pass. Obiak. Ilyas Skiri. Tries the shot here. Intercepted well. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. It's an excellent cross. Strong, powerful clearance. 
you don't see that so often. Just glided past him effortlessly. The score! They have scored! They do lead now by two. They've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Ilyas Skiri, just a period of keeping the ball for the team that are winning the match. I think we've seen it, the visitors controlling possession, and I've been really impressed by the way they've gone about the business. Justin Kleibert. Kolorov. And that's the referee's decision, two added minutes. Striding forward, purposefully. The target, Edin Dzeko, of the keeper, back into play. No nonsense defending, it was needed. Well, a bit of distance into the clearance, but they've lost possession. And the referee is blown for half-time. <laughs> referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. That's good passing, probing. Can go in from here. He works so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. Federico Fazio. Jordan Veretout. Kolorov. Lorenzo Pellegrini. Promising forward play from them again. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Tolia. And this is a reminder for you about the upcoming fixture in Serie A for the visiting team. Follow it with us on EA Sports. Kirikesh. Obiak. They have spent the big bucks, Barcelona. Yeah, the legs are slowing up a little bit, and it's likely to be his last move, this one. That's an unforced error, really, with the pass. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. And here is Jekyll. It's a useful position, this, for the free kick. And the winger now takes his leave of the game. Having had an impact on the game. Well, you don't get too many players of this calibre these days who, who can play on the wing and track back. Had a go! He is good at these free kicks. And that was... Nearly another special moment for him. Yeah, he does practice a lot on a training ground. Technique... Really good there. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Well, that has cost them, but only a corner. It could have been worse. In goes the corner. And the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting the attack. Duricic. Caligiuri, Jeremy Tolian, Obia, Tolian, Duricic, and the forward could be played in, it was a lovely pass. Edin Dzeko, they can be quick on the break now. Getting an incisive pass, Dzeko! A brilliant breakaway goal. Well, that was absolutely mesmerising the way they moved the ball forward. So swiftly, so slickly. That's top quality, isn't it, for Roma for that goal. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. 
Off we go again, 2-1. Giddy, return pass. No great danger here, but they've got the ball, that's the most important thing. The back heel doesn't come off. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. And here is Jekyll, guided through. It's a brilliant stop. Put in the corner, good defending at the front post, but not such a good corner. Roma have given it away. Tight scenario here on the ball. Clever little back heel. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Well, if it goes on like this, Alan, and there's not much time left, it will be Arrivederci Roma. It will be, and they won't have deserved anything unless they can have a turnaround in form in the last moments. Kolorov, Justin Kleibert. Now he's lost the ball. Jeremy Tolian, and on the clock, eight more minutes. Caligiuri, giving the ball away now. Players do get lifted by supporters, by crowds, and in the clear for a great chance. Dzeko, beautiful goal. Such spirit here from this team. And two down, and thought that was then finished. Think again. Very good effort this from this team to get level late on. Well, they might be believing they could go on and win this now. They've got the momentum. The game restarts at 2-2. Five more minutes here. Caligiuri. Jeremy Tolian. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Promising forward play from them again. Ferrari. That's an inspired interception. At a really crucial moment. That might just decide the match. Could this corner decide the game? It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Swung in from the corner. Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Great effort from Roma here, trying to win the game. And that is the final whistle from the referee. Over the top of the defenders, and he could be in here. Grazie per averci concesso alcuni minuti per rispondere alle nostre domande.
Merci un coup, là.